looks like another film strip. That's right. Another one we don't have the record for. And that means that we're going to be able to be the commentaries we're for gonna this. We're going to make it up as we go. We haven't right. watched any of these. Mm -mm. And so we have uh, this November of 1959, entitled 1959, Service and Style. I think I have the November of 1959 in something else. I do believe <laughs> I do, too. Service in Style. All right. So well, that's let's see what you, this one's about. You know, about. Uh, that's what it's all about. You'd be styling if you're driving a Cadillac. Especially a 59 <laughs> Cadillac. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's my favorite. All, although I loved my 53 El Dorado. And I just love the 59s. It's just what I've always enjoyed. Yeah. So look at this character. Look at this character. Yeah. Is he the owner of the car? Is he the owner of the agency? Mm. I wonder who he is. Yeah, but he's got his glasses off. Yeah. Looking with his eyes. His eyes are closed, obviously. Yeah. Don't know what yeah. he's going to oh, do yet. Oh, maybe he's looking at what's forming that shadow in the background. Looks like a chicken. <laughs> that looks like a chick with her skirt blowing in the wind. Oh. Well, that's close. <laughs> Your mind's in the wrong place, John. I said check. And new bodies, new ornamentation, new grill, new bumper, new interior. All new for 59. Lower. 2.3 Three. Two Two three to, to four. 4 inches. I guess various parts of the car as huh. the previous year. Wheelbase 130. Now you got cars. So it must be longer and wider. Yeah. Nowadays you got cars. In, you know, overall length isn't even 130 inches. There it is. The Series 75 limousine. Yeah. Well, we're supposed to be looking at something there. Well. I don't know. There's a flat top. Yeah. Okay, I guess the point now... We're showing off with all the models, it yeah, must be. Yeah, yeah, the, 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 the detail... Okay, this is all the chrome, I guess, huh? Well, therefore, the style. Yeah. That's all the, all the bright work. Oh, uh, that's chrome, isn't it? Yeah, so it, it, it's a pillar. It's actually... Uh, yeah, exactly. It's brushed aluminum. Oh, it's brushed aluminum. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, you can't tell from the picture. Uh, that's going to be the windshield trim. Looks like the, the cowl vent in the front. Yeah, or, I, I don't know or why. Is that a, or is that a rear in the intake for the rear air no, conditioning? No, no, it's a, it's a windshield. Front, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of at a loss for words on this show. Yeah, the I, I, I try to guy. I mean, yeah, that's the new style. or the. the I think I, they're trying to point out everything that's yeah. right. Everything that may have not been changed. Yeah. Maybe they, they, the windshield's got more visibility. That's oh, maybe so. And different clips for holding the trim on? Right. In previous models? Right. Because you got to get in the mindset of who would be watching this. This would have been the mechanics on these service films to get them orientated to the... To the new car to, coming yeah, in. So, yeah. so it would be more pointing out what's different from previous years. Oh, yeah, there's how everything goes together. How the... Um, right, so only the service department would want to see this. I mean, yeah, and you, you, real faint, you can see the windshield glass coming down out of the gasket to the lower right. Oh, and yeah. you see that little kind of yellowish area mm -hmm. where it's kind of like the, got the um, C-shaped? I do. Yeah, so that's showing how everything should fit together. Okay. And I take it you're not supposed to be using any adhesive or sealer with that gasket. Or where you're supposed to be putting it, maybe. Okay, <laughs> the Eldorado, my car. Yeah. I love to see that. That was just I the mean, part we were working on recently. Yeah, too, that trim. yeah, isn't that great? I think we're still hunting down some of the hardware for that. Yes. There's a Fleetwood. 
That's what our parts car is. Mm -hmm. There's a Fleetwood. Oh, all the... How many pieces are in the grill, John, do you think? Oh, I just have to stop and count. I, I know. I'm not, I wish I knew how many bullets there were. I, I know there's people that know it by memory. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I would love to... I think there was a tool made at one point in time, and I know, I'm pretty sure Cadillac had it, for taking out the star clips. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. there was. Yeah. There was. I, I mean, we have star clips, uh, you know, we can help. Because they, they intended for you to, if there was damage to the grill, to, to repair it. Yeah, just to take exactly. one one or two out. And yeah, not to replace the whole thing. But what a job that's going to be to get the grill. I, I'm not looking forward to dealing with the grill. Yeah, well, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm a mechanical kind of guy. Yeah, well, we'll get somebody else the to do that. Trim and Gosh, the, we'll get somebody the trim else to the, do that. I can, do, I, can, <laughs> I can make an army jeep look okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, this is such specialty work. So. What a bumper. Yeah. I mean, it wins, right, in an accident? Oh, yeah. Yeah. There, there's, more, there's more metal in the grill and bumper of mm -hmm. one of these cars than it seems like in an entire modern car. Right. Okay, but there's the hood little latch. Hood. yeah. Oh, well, making sure the hood ain't gonna fly up when you going down the road. Right, right. Check the new car before it goes out the door. Yeah. Now, with these being that they were made in 58, it wasn't that they were addressing a, a problem that had cropped up. No. You know, I, I know that the service bulletins, those uh, address problems a lot of the time. Yeah. But this is, this must just be intended for general, just general information for the service department. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I have to believe as a car manufacturer, you're going to try to eliminate problems. <laughs> yeah, but as they crop up, you're going to yeah, have to deal with it. Yeah, a lot of the time you just don't know until you get it. Uh, those are all the adjusting. And do guys, yeah, okay. Okay. You know, now looking at that uh, last uh, clip there, you can see it had two switches on the door. On which? Oh, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. So, yeah, so one of them's for the main window and the other's for the vent window? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, get back to where we were here. Oh, yeah, the um, seals inside the door to keep the panel from getting wet. Yeah, electric vent windows were an option. Yeah. Yeah. And they also had uh, the uh, the door locks as an option. They were vacuum? Or yeah. yeah. Yeah, vacuum. They had electric on them, too, so they, they were a combo. Yeah. 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 I've got a, we've got a lot of cores, but we've never tried to restore any. No, that's going to be going. some stuff to get into. But when we get to it for the 59 El Dorado. Well, you guys will yeah, learn with us as yeah, we do it. Exactly. Huh. Okay, that's how it's supposed to be. Now, sometimes these cores we have are missing pieces or things are bent. And you can't tell. Unless you got a good one. Or a picture of a good one. Yep. Oh, look at that. I just love the way that looks. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, that is... And back in 1959, there was a true division of people. You either loved it or you hated it. Yeah. Right? Isn't So, yeah. The uh, gas door that disappears. Okay. Yeah, it's showing it's you. A, it's just off. It opens up. Yeah, right there. I've never had to put a gas put gas in a '59 Cadillac yet. Uh, yeah. 
back when they put the gas in for you at the service station. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. When the tires a uh, only got like a skinny white wall on it. Yeah, they didn't huh. really have big white walls. Have, no. no, it's so it's just the what everybody likes, and yeah. they, I, I happen to like a wider white wall. I just think they look better. Some cars they look right, and some cars they look wrong. Yeah. And there, there is that fighter cockpit, mm. you know. It kind of emulates the rear of the car in some ways. Yeah, and, and you know, when I'm driving my 2020 uh, Corvette C8, they did the same thing. Uh, they made it as a, f- a fighter cockpit. Oh, yeah? I mean, instrument cluster. It is so friggin' cool. I mean, the 59 Cadillac, and the- now the 2020 and newer Corvette C8s are, are a lot alike. And, and the car I drove, you could damn near land a fighter jet on the hood. <laughs> <laughs> What a piece of work that is. Yeah. Wow. It's art to me. Yeah, to think somebody thought of that, drew it out. Yes. Then had to design, people had to design the controls to be functional. You had to work within the sizes of components. Mm-hmm. And all the things that have to come together. I, that's something that people forget. And how many disciplines come together to do that. Yeah, and you see how it, the, the, the instrument cluster is, is uh, recessed. Yeah. So... As far as like bright lights hitting it and, and yeah, it keeps the glare off. Yeah, it, it was it was brilliant. Well, and I've got a exactly. surprise for your instrument cluster when you go to put that in. Are you are you going to keep me waiting or are you going to tell me? A special uh, gear indicator. Since yeah. We've changed out from the hydromatic yeah. to the turbo four hundred. Okay. So the lettering's not correct. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. So we're going to so, show. And also, yeah, all right. And so also our neutral safety switch is not correct. So we're going to have Josh's tricks and tips on this, right? We're going to have a, we're going to have a special, a custom-made digital uh, gear indicator for oh, you. Okay. All right. Super. Are those mounting locations for the hardware behind the dash? In order to take the dashboard off uh-huh. or on, it must be. Yeah. You know, Josh, why I'm in the parts business? Why? I'm real good at taking things apart. And not putting them back together. <laughs> and I love to sort and organize. And what do I get? I get boxes full of parts to assemble back into something. Well, there you go. And that's what I do, on the, that's what I do for fun, too. Yeah, and I, that's what I do. I go to the swap meets, um, pick up old ham radio equipment that somebody else has tried to work on, missing pieces, taken apart, and I put it back together. Radio works. It's no fun. Sell it. Move on. Once it's working, it's no fun anymore. It's getting it together. That's yes. Well, we got R fifty nine is certainly that way. Oh, we're getting excited. I I don't know when it's going to be done, but when it's going to be done, it'll be done right. Yeah. And uh, you know, I'm not going to rush through it like I wanted to in the beginning. No. It'll be done the way you want it done. Also. Yes. Look at the size of that back seat. Oh, it's great. Yeah. I mean, you if you don't know that material that they oh, use. It's, it's got silver or gold thread. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it does. Sparkles. Oh, yeah. And that could be green right there it's with green, sparkles yeah. Yeah. in it. it just, green with gold sparkles. Yeah. yeah. Great. No, it's really cool what they used to do. What's he He's looking? looking for change. I thought he was looking. <laughs> he, he needs a dime for a cu- for the coffee machine. Okay, it wasn't the mouse that ran into the chair. <laughs> it might have been. Hey, at least we didn't find any mice in the upholstery we worked on today. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hey, that's hey. exactly the part we were working wow, on today. Isn't that cool. Unexpected. How about that. Uh huh. Oh, there's the switches. That's for the bench seat. Yes. Six way. And we're doing the do not add shims. He's not happy. Feet can't reach the pedals. There's the bucket seat. Yeah. And you can see the um, K 
cable running across for the um, motor. Uh huh. Yeah, bucket seats were an option as well. Yeah, I wonder how common they were. were they uh, not that the common. Yeah, no. Okay. They, they weren't. I mean, as far as I know, and I may be caught now saying that, but I, I think they were still uh, an option, huh. in, even in the Eldorado Barrettes. Huh. They look like they'd be a comfortable seat. Yeah. You know. Yes, they. They. I. I, I used to have a sixty three convertible and of course we're restoring the 64 mm -hmm. it's got bench seats but the 63 had uh bucket seats and yeah. i i enjoyed that they were really comfortable i don't know i've, I've always liked the bench seat mm. have the girlfriend or the wife slide over to you and i you know, see sit next to you when you're going out cruising you know yeah there's reasons for yeah. that yeah I think in the manual they give us they in some of the manuals they show the connectors like that so you when you're digging around looking for them to test you can know what they look like. Okay, all right. That's window motor. He's missing his thumbs because he got them stuck in the gears. There's the infamous wiper motor. Oh yeah, there's a lot going on in that unit. Well, they built them for failure, I think, because we, <laughs> we fixed so many of them. Huh. And uh, that wiper motor was used from 1959 to 1962. Oh, at least they used them for a few years. Yeah, it wasn't something they changed every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, John knows all the parts. I know how to fix the parts. So. That's how we work well together. Yeah, really works He well. knows what fits what, and I can fix whatever it is. Yeah, I know there's a lot going on there. You got the pump for the for the washer, and the whole part, you got the parking mechanism with the, yeah, I know there's a lot going on in there. We did a video on our 64 where we lubricated all those linkages. Remember how it squeaks so bad? Oh God, that thing was yeah. Bad. Yeah. Terrible. Oh, hey, when I when I picked it up in Bakersfield, yeah, and it started to rain, and I turned turned them on, they're barely moving, and I've, headlights. I had a choice of either three of the bulbs on or none of the bulbs on, and it's starting to. <laughs> that was an adventure. Well, that would have been. We, we should actually. I it should, should have been filmed. I should do a little a uh, little talk sometime. Uh, tell you guys about. The adventure to Bakersfield, oh. and just some of the things to think about when you're loading up to go pick up a car. Or thinking we had everything that could go wrong did go wrong. Or thinking about buying a car before you see it. Yes, yes. So that looks pretty close to the '64. It does. Yeah. Yeah, you would not want to get your fingers down in that mechanism and have that mm. motor start running. There's mm. a lot of sharp edges that are like scissors. Yeah, you know? but, but this, this car had electric windows. See, yeah. not, not every car had electric windows. So what, what order do the switches operate the windows? You mean so? Yeah. You mean the first one to, yeah, to, to, to my left. right hand side? Or yeah, to the start left. At one, start at the left and go right. Yeah, so it's been so long, but I would think that the drivers. Well, yeah. if I'm starting to the left, then that would be the the rear window. Rear driver's side. Rear drivers, yeah. and the next one is the passenger, and then the next one is the passenger front, and okay. the one all the way in the front. All is, I've ever done is test them. <laughs> I should pay attention to which one is most worn right. out. Right. And that would tell you the drivers, but right. I've never thought about which switch controlled what what right. piece of glass. What I think of it, I think of it as you know, the switch that's yeah. more towards the rear is the rear. Yeah, and hopefully I'm right. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can wire them up any way you want. Oh, and I've seen that, Josh. <laughs> Maybe I'll wire them up the way I want. Just make it fun for you. It's the surprise on the sixty-four. Oh, that's right. Our <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Kind of fell apart a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys see us being serious all the time, explaining how to do stuff, and you know, 
There's a lot of laughing and joking and carrying on that goes around this shop. Well, I just love that Fleetwood. That side scoop. Yeah. Um, no, that's a neat looking car. Yeah, and uh, I'm as of the time we are into uh, the end of uh, June 2021 when we're, we're actually filming this, but um, in about another three weeks, Josh, I'm getting a pod full of a lot of 1959 parts. Oh, cool. Yeah, because years ago, mm -hmm. I bought 30 cars that were taken apart, okay. 58 through 60. Mm -hmm. And the fella that did it, Randy, kept some of the goodies because he always thought that he'd rebuild another car. Oh, okay. And that never happened. So he <laughs> finally called me up, and uh, we're going to... We're gonna get a bunch oh, of goodies. Cool. So let's we'll do it. We, we'll we kind of we yeah. It'd be one of our instead of an unboxing and an an uncontainering yeah, video. Yeah, yeah. We do things big around here. Yeah, yeah. I I do like the I do like the look of the big four door like that. Hard top. That's a body style you don't even see today. Yeah, he he cut off some fins. Oh so no! So there'll be fin? some extra fins in there. Huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, sure. Maybe some of the stuff. It, we don't have a, I mean, we got a pretty good body. Somebody's wanting to do a custom or something. Or just wall art. Yeah. Yeah. No, that'd be neat to see. I'm looking forward to seeing that stuff. 1959 service in style. Oh. Look at that. That is a brome. And the biggest mistake in my life was this fellow that I loved. He gave it to me. He knew he was dying. Mm. He wanted me to sell it for him. He didn't tell me he was dying. He actually formulated the correct color of Cadillac blue because nobody else was doing it right. Oh. And he restored a black 59 Brome. I think there was 99 of them. Mm. And he offered it to me for $25,000. Oh, no it was a lot of money yeah. back, you know, back then. It was a perfect car. But I'll tell you what, I did put 100 miles on that car. Oh, yeah? And it was so great to drive. It, way different than, than most 59s. Huh. Some things are a little bit the same. Some but, of it's just the but, chance to drive something. Mm -hmm. Not, you know, maybe just to experience it. Mm -hmm. I got, a friend of mine's got a 62 Chrysler 300 with that backlit wow. electroluminescent instrument. Yes. Panel. The car's got... You got a hole rusted in the side of it, but you take it out at night, and you, and you, and you got that instrument panel that is absolutely perfect. That dome glowing on the steering column, you know. Well, listen, I know. You know, it's it's just some of the time, just to be able to experience it once in your life. Some of these things with old cars. Yeah, and and just because I'm caddy daddy doesn't mean that I didn't have a '57 Chrysler Crown Imperial with the beautiful flight sweep deck. Oh, and yeah. the way that the instrument cluster was illuminated. Yeah. And um, it was a great car. And don't think that just because I'm Caddy Daddy, I didn't have a 1958 Oldsmobile convertible. Oh. <laughs> or a brand new 442 from the factory in 1970. Oh, when, yeah? When I was a little spoiled, my grandma said, would you go to college? I go, yeah. Would you buy me a car? Okay. <laughs> It was about fifty-two hundred dollars back in nineteen seventy. Where I have my fun is getting to work on something mm -hmm. and then taking it out for the test drive. Wow! You know, yeah. to me, it, to me, the fun's working. I hang out in the restoration shop down in American Canyon. Go in there. We go in there every few weeks just to. I want to see the car taken apart. I don't want to see it all done. I want to see what what goes on under what's underneath the fancy coat of paint and the nice upholstery. Yeah, I like to see the, you know, the, the engine, the transmission, how, how the suspension's put together. So some of the, so I, you know, I've worked on, I've worked on all sorts of different cars. Yeah, what are you driving today, Josh? Seventy-two Dodge Polaro. And how many miles does it have on it? Oh, about sixty-one thousand. And it looks like a cream puff to me. It's got to be sweet to drive. It, I describe it as looking like it ought to be on the used car lot in 74 there you go it does it yeah. looks great and deals are abound <laughs> yeah i paid three grand for it 11 years ago wow yeah nice car yeah so we have our fun yeah we like all cars yes so 
because we're car guys. Right. We're not just Cadillac guys. We're car guys. Car guys. guys. Yeah. Anything with anything with wheels and an engine, really, or tracks and an engine, is one of our customers recently needed parts for. Yes. <laughs> Let you guys look that up. What Cadillac had tracks and two engines. <laughs> Is that the end of it? Yeah, that's uh, the end. The, there you can. There, we're at the end now. Fine Village is a great organization that gives back to the community. Check it out; you'll see so as well. Thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Son and Kirsten. We're here at the 2018 Vine Village Celebration, our major fundraiser here that helps fund programs that we run for people with developmental disabilities here in the greater Napa community. Vine Village was founded by my family and another family, each who had children with disabilities in 1972. And we depend on donations from all sorts of foundations and individuals and businesses throughout our community to help fund these programs and this is our biggest fundraiser of the year. You can donate by clicking the link in the video description.